Logic, the pro. Victor Ilya is our guest on the show this morning and is going to, well, take us through his brightest side of life. Good morning, Logic, the pro. Welcome to the Morning Brief. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. Well, Victor is a content creator, producer, vocalist. I, I don't know if you want me to add comedian, because as much as we enjoy <laughs> the music, your, your content always make me laugh. I just find myself laughing, and I'm happy about life, particularly because, you know, you're dressed in a certain way, and you're still enjoying life in that manner. So you just wonder, <laughs> why am I stressed about life, right? Uh, but Victor, speak <laughs> to us uh, first about where you are at right now. Uh, I mean, you started just a few years ago doing your thing, and now you're getting so much love for Nigeria. Speak to us, how does that feel to begin with? It actually feels good. It is, it is more like years of hard work is finally paying off, you get. So some of all those things that we have been doing before, some of all those things I've been doing, it's 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 now it's now beginning to pay off and it is very relaxing to so, you know every single day i pick up my phone and i see very very heartwarming um notifications you get and it is it is just something of beauty for me i i really appreciate god for that it's it's something i i, I love uh, yet so i'm actually enjoying where i'm at and it is the pace is, is steady right. steady gaining so, right so Beautiful thing. And it's beautiful to see, I must say. So here is a backstory. It's a lot of people who are wondering, ah, Logic the Pro, I've seen his video. Who is he? What, where does this stay? So you are based in Kaduna, right? And yeah. for a lot of people, what they hear about Kaduna is, for example, insecurity, kidnappings, and the rest. But there's so much more to Kaduna State. Lots of talent. And we can talk about agriculture, but particularly the talent. So I, I want you to market Kaduna State, at least the good side of Kaduna State uh, this morning, and tell us about your story. How did you come about this? Uh, how have you been able to stay consistent? Where do you get your inspiration from? Where did you get that shoe from? Where did you get the jacket from? I have a lot of questions for you, uh, Logic. So just tell us about yourself, the things that people don't know about you. So basically, my name is Victor Elia. I'm Logic the Pro. And I'm from Kaduna State. And definitely from what you have said, we have, we have heard a lot of things about Kaduna State, which I would not want to say are not true. But then I feel like generally around the world, around Nigeria as a well, whole, I feel like some of the news we hear about Kaduna State is actually very exaggerated. Because <laughs> the way people make it look is as if we are in constant battle. <laughs> Do you get And it's not like that. So like that, Kaduna State is actually a very sweet place. It is, it is like a, it is like a farm for talents because there are many talented souls here in Kaduna State, and then I just happen to be privileged to be one of them. I I started I started doing this thing for like some years now. I've been I've been a producer basically. That's how I began. I started as a producer, and somewhere along the line, I discovered that I could sing. And I cannot lie, some of all these things, because I'm a very playful person, I love to play, I love to joke around. And then some of, most of my inspirations come from <laughs> that, that, that part of me that would always love to like, make other people happy, make other people smile. And that is, that is just basic, basic logic to pro. Um, um, the, I'm not very different from the person you see on your screens. <laughs> mm. uh, I so Logic the Pro, um, something caught my attention when you talked about how long you've been hustling, let's use that word, and eventually yeah. it's paying off. So let's see a three-in-one question for you right now. When did this all start, first of all? And then if you announced that, if you started making money, are you sending some tights to us? Because you obviously talked about it paying off right now, which I'll say congratulations, by the way. And that shoe and the stockings, <laughs> it gave me the vibe of... Um, of, it gave me the vibe of Michael Jackson, especially when you do the moonwalk. Is, there, is Michael Jackson an inspiration to you in some way? Has, it, has he any, in any way influenced uh, uh, your journey in this whole business? So I, really love, I really love Michael. I really love his music. I love, love everything about him. So, but but the, the Michael Jackson character I play in some of my stuff, I would love to say it's accidental because... I think it was one of the videos we just 
had that concept and I decided to just throw in one move. And well, because I love reading the comments of people that read that, that watch my stuff. So I went through the comments and I just heard everybody saying, so, ah, see Michael Jackson in Sapa style. Somebody was saying Sapa Jackson. You, get. <laughs> you need to tell them and, it's no longer Sapa time. Oh. Eh? That this is now paying time. You know? <laughs> so so uh, when I discovered that uh, this character, I think this, this is something I should build up on since people are already loving this space of the, the whole stuff. And then I decided in the next video, I incorporated some more of some of all those moves. And then I, I decided to come, on, uh, come up with the moonwalk now this time around. But from, from this Lexus video, you see that the moonwalk was really very... Uh, it's dark. It's really it was something mooning. to write home about. <laughs> <laughs> but I was rehearsing behind the cameras. I was rehearsing for, for the moonwalk dance. And then as time went on, you notice how how there's an improvement in this stuff. We are building this Sapa Jackson character and, <laughs> and that's just it. That's how it has been. I've actually been on onto this 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 piece. I've been doing production for for some years, say seven seven years to eight years, somewhere thereabouts. Mm. I've been doing that, but it has always been on a low key level. I've I've just been doing all those things from my room. Mm. In my room, I just have my PC and my headphones, and I just make stuff like that. And as time went on, everything began to build up. I, I, you know, they say practice makes better. So as I kept on doing all those things, I, I just discovered that I was getting better. I was getting good at it. And then one of the first videos I made, one of the, I think the first video that brought everything to life was was one video. Nobody even speaks of the video anymore because <laughs> that was long ago. When I made that video, it was just, I was in the studio, I was making a beat and then I lost inspiration. So I thought of something else and then I made it up. It was very, very funny. I, when I finished cooking that, I, I was laughing at myself. And then I decided to, I was at home and I decided to shoot a video for it. Then I picked up my father's suit. By the way, that suit is my is, is my father's suit. <laughs> that, oh. that suit of grace. <laughs> I, I like so the way I you picked have, it up. Yeah. So I like the way you avoided the, <laughs> the, the money parts, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Because I asked you three questions. Don't worry, I'm getting, you know? there. I'm getting there. Okay, I get you there. Is, Don't yeah, worry, Anne. Don't worry, Anne. I'm not going to let Victor go. I, I'm going to pursue that line of thought as well. And, you know, perhaps it's going to take us um, as some form of inspiration for younger people who are watching you. And I'm like, oh, I love what Victor is doing. I could do what he's doing. So along yes. the line, um, you know, what, what could be the fees that have been coming in that you charge perhaps to endorse a particular product. But just hold on on that thought. There's more to follow up on as well. Let's enjoy some of your content that you're putting on and that Nigerians are beginning to fall in love with. And then we'll be right back. Um, are you, is your steez going to be different? Are you going to recreate yourself? Are you going to be inspired differently in the um, identity that you choose uh, people to um, know you by? Well, that is actually a very beautiful oh. question. <laughs> so, the Sapa Jackson character is is one that is definitely inspired. I love I love it when people watch my stuff and they can connect to it because a lot of people, as we all know, the the economy of the country as as at the moment is not really very very good. It's actually very shaky. So. A lot of people can actually connect to this character. And then I feel like it's something that I'm going to definitely this thing. Now this thing is going to is going to be upgraded on the other side of me. <laughs> but when it comes to Tapa Jackson, Tapa Jackson is definitely going to remain the way it is. <laughs> What's the scenario? Tapa Jackson is going to look more saparish. You get <laughs> So so I, I take it I take it when the steez improves and you know levels change as we say in nigerian parlance um we'll, we'll no longer see shakwa jackson asking for the urgent 2k in the video will you now be the I one distributing sure. 2k 
He said he'll yes, still be yes, sharper. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't go to APA, not sharper again. Anyway, but... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but I'd like to ask also, Ming, um, seeing you do all this work, uh, you are also encouraging young talents. What would you say to that young talent watching you right now who still is confused about what to do with maybe the little talent he has already discovered? What would you encourage that person to do first? Maybe the first step to take. The first step to take, I would love to say, is number one, love what you do. Believe, believe in what you do and, and make sure you don't, because a lot of people are going to talk you down. When I started, I had a lot of people that were telling me, there was one time I was at an, I was at an event and I was going to perform. You know that, that kind of event that you slot yourself in with one or two few abeg somewhere. <laughs> so... That was the case for me at that time. I was at the event. And then somebody met me and said, Ah, Roger, so you don't come here again to come disgrace us for you. Oh, dear. <laughs> and it went on like that. But I actually didn't care about what the guy said. And just a few moments after that, it began to pay off. And then it's, it stopped being disgrace. And it started being... It, it, it was looking more like disgrace. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, first of all, believe in yourself. So believe in yourself. Don't allow anybody to tell you what you're doing is not good enough. Make sure, and make sure you know that what you're doing is good enough and try to improve every single day. Then secondly, don't give room for excuses. I think this is the major reason why some people are actually, uh, are actually not really moving in, in the whole entertainment or anything else you want to do in life because you want to start something and then you are looking for Somebody will tell you, ah, I'm, I'm financially not buoyant. I am um, I'm not having gadgets enough. And when we started making videos, I, act, I actually forgot to mention, I was, borrowing, I was borrowing an iPhone X from one of my friends that had one. As at that time, I would borrow the phone to go and shoot. Sometimes we'd borrow, <laughs> no, we used to use one of my very old phones. As at that time, it was an Infinix phone. But it would borrow that phone to shoot videos. We actually didn't care about the quality. Everybody come and be saying, ah, improve your quality. You don't know that we do not have the, the capability to improve the quality, but at least I tried my possible best. I didn't actually stop. I, when, whenever I got a concept, I would make it up and then I would find a way to shoot it. I didn't, I didn't stay, I didn't say, say, ah, no, I don't have this now. So I don't have a good camera. I don't have a good this. I don't have a good that. So I cannot start now. I just figured out a way to just bring in some of all these things. I believe this particular two steps, if anybody should take these steps, in anything they do in life generally, it's going to be very, very prosperous because number one, you love what you do right. and you believe in yourself. Number two, you are not even taking any chances. Every opportunity you get, you do something. It, it is definitely a short road for success. Absolutely. You also love beans. Uh, just to put that out there, that it's not just content and production you love. You love beans as well, as you put it on your social media. But speak to us uh, about uh, how your family members are, are, are reacting to this or receiving this. Because we're, we're spotlighting your story, as we said earlier on, uh, to share that hope. The fact that you can start from where you are. I mean, you had to borrow devices to shoot uh, videos. Now you have over 100,000 uh, followers on Instagram alone, you clock in hundreds of thousands of views, likes, and comments. So that's the power of starting small, staying consistent with it, and the rest. But I, I'm curious, uh, how is your family, how are they receiving this on the one hand? Um, is there something else you would do aside this? Uh, yes, there's content, but some other, say, some other people say, I have a plan B, maybe to work, do what I studied in school as a plan B. So two-edged question, how your family uh are carrying you along on this and then do you have a plan b yes thank you very much so i would love to start by appreciating my family in general they have been very supportive starting from my parents my mom my dad they have been very very supportive when we started we go to shoot in different locations my sister my sister was very very instrumental she has been in my videos and every Every once in a while, she used to cameo in some of the videos, and that was, you just see so much love and support. My parents would, would often give me the house car 
and you say, ah, go and shoot here, go and shoot there, go and do this, go and do this. And it was just, it was just, the support was, was massive. I feel like to every other person out there, if you want to do something, if you want to at least help your child to have something, something lucrative, something to bounce back on, I feel like it is very, very good to support your children, support, mm. support your words, support them in the best way you can. Sometimes you might not even have any money to give. You might not have anything to give, but you can at least sing. Ah, no, I love what you did. Imagine your father telling you, ah, I, I, I love your content, I love your videos, I love all those things. It can be really very heartwarming and can be very, very huge encouragement for you to keep on pushing and keep on adding up the fire. Because mm. if you don't have, a lot of people that really don't have support, they had it the wrong way and they, they had it the tough way, sorry. But then definitely I know that when it begins to pay up, everybody definitely when I when when I started the support was there, it was massive, but it was still very shaky. I cannot lie, it was still shaky. But when everything started to uh, the support you get, <laughs> the support was now you know, <laughs> better than before. <laughs> and again, so again I'm study I'm concluding my studies on industrial chemistry. That's what I'm studying. So. It is something I would love to explore somewhere in the future, but that should be like a plan B, plan C, something like that. This, this me is the, is, the, is the me I love most, and I want to put in every, everything I can to see that I grow most here. But then that particular aspect of me, something that, that has been in consideration for quite a while, and I'm very sure that is something that I'm going to definitely look into to get. You know, it is very, very important to not put your eggs in one basket. So just just start start, start up a little more things and everything. But definitely, I would like to pursue a career in industrial chemistry somewhere in the future, if God allows us. There you go, uh, Victor, we could go on and on. So maybe what we'll do is, when next year in Lagos, let us know. Uh, we need to do some moonwalk with you, particularly Bukola. She wants to learn your Sakwa Jackson. I'm moonwalk. down. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I will moonwalk with you. If, if she doesn't know how to, I will teach her. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm a fast learner, Victor. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> All you need to do is to get the shoes. <laughs> the shoes. And I'll get the socks for her to get the shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been speaking with Logic the Pro, Victoria, live from Kaduna State. I mean, he's a young Nigerian doing great stuff uh, from what people have described as his little corner. Victor, we wish you the very best. And hey, here's to seeing you on even greater stages in the coming days. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here also. It is quite a big one for me. And I say thank you, Channels TV. Thank you, every one of you. I appreciate you big time. Thank you. Thank you again. And that has been the show for today, everyone. We hope we've been able to give you a dose of inspiration, motivation to go out there and go do great stuff. Mm. I'm Kyle Okikili. And speaking of inspiration, a good family support system can help give one's dream visibility like Victor's. So help your loved one today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll return again tomorrow with another bumper package. I am Bukola Koka. <laughs> well, remember how we started. Thoughtfulness, consideration, please in your daily activities ensure you think about that. So that's the show. Thank you so very much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Make sure you maintain your steez. I am Anne Wawadu. <laughs> Sunrise Daily is next. Goodbye. <laughs>